Lucenda Community Rewards Program helps AAUW's Tech Track to offer this camp for 60 girls from all over New Mexico every year, all with a focus on STEM, science, technology, engineering, or math, at a cost to the family of only $50 each because of the generous donations from organizations around the state like Nusenda. Nusenda Credit Union, the power of we. Visit nusenda.org to learn how community rewards is impacting communities. Federally insured by NCUA. Welcome in Aggie fans to episode two of our brand new video series, The Student Athlete Spotlight, sponsored by New Senda Credit Union. Adam Young with football star linebacker Devin Richardson. Devin, thanks for doing this today. Oh, it's my pleasure. Uh, coming off an outstanding freshman year, now the postponement of football to the spring. How have you handled all that? Uh, I don't see any difference, but besides the fact it's a, another redshirt year, so can't do anything but keep up with the mental and just polish up on the little techniques and the uh, uh, mental errors from last year that I had that I can just correct on and, and gain on that. Are you trying to keep a positive mindset daily right now? Have to, you have to. The moment you tell yourself you're gonna have a bad day or the moment you tell yourself, okay, I'm kinda over this day, that's when things are gonna tend to go wrong. So I just try to keep a positive mindset and say every day is gonna be good, no bad days at all. Let's go back to your high school days and your early high school days at Klein in Texas. You were a high school quarterback to start. Yes, I was. Was that your first love position-wise? I thought my entire life I was going to be like another Cam Newton in the backfield, dropping dimes, but that's not what God had, in, uh, had intended for me. So uh, I played quarterback my entire life all the way up until sophomore year. And then coach said uh, he could use my help on the defensive side. And I said, at first, I'm not going to lie, at first, I was like, oh, do I really have to? Like, I was kind of, I was kind of uh, trying to uh, stay away from it, but I just trusted God and decided to play a uh, linebacker and started my career as a linebacker my junior year and been loving ever since. Did you have to change your body and what was the adjustment like from quarterback to linebacker? I think I was stocky all my life just because my genetics. I was about 185, 190 as a quarterback. And then I put on some uh, more leaner muscle going into my junior year. So I shot up to about 205 and then my senior year 215. So I think I just, it, it wasn't too much of a change for me. Was the dream for you always to play FBS college football? It was for sure. My dream was always to play FBS football and then soon be a professional football player. Cause I remember when I was a kid just doing school assignments uh, the teacher would be like, what would you uh, like to be for your profession? I always put NFL play every time. I remember talking to you during the pandemic for an interview and you talked about watching the Aggies in the bowl game in 2017 on television and envisioning what you could do here. How cool was that to watch them in the bowl game and is that your motivation daily here? It's so it's, It was so amazing to watch them and just see the fire in the guys' eyes when they're on the field and how they were just dominating to be on, uh, on one accord. And that's something I keep in the back of my mind here so that I can just bring another bowl championship here, maybe even two if that's the case. But just what those guys set in stone, just try to build on top of that and uh, help change the culture around here to bring us another, another bowl. How much have you grown in your time here in two plus years? Oh, amazing. Uh, physically and mentally for sure. I've, I've, I've gained to uh, know a lot about myself and how how my walk is, and it's, it's nothing like college, to be honest with you. The student part, you're a finance major. Why did you choose that? I honestly had no idea what I wanted to major in coming into college, but I just kept telling myself it's fine. Nobody, not everybody knows. So I talked to my mom and my parents about what I should do and what a good plan would be. And since my mom has a little background in the business field, I decided to go with finance. But around last semester, I was like, eh, don't really know about it. So I did some research and I wanted to go into uh, Kinesis Performance. That, that mainly goes over uh, the physical aspect, but not only the physical, the mental. So me being that I'm a, already a collegiate athlete right now, I felt that I could help the younger generation come up. And when it comes to the mental parts of the game and like the last clutch moments, what you're thinking about and how you can compose yourself, 
I want to be able to give that back. So I might be able to do something, something with that after my college years here. How hard is it to juggle school and football, and how do you, Devin, prioritize the two? It's very hard. It's, it's honestly like a job. Um, I have uh, practices about three times a week, and then having to come home, and you want to kick, kick your feet up and just watch a, watch a little TV or something, but you know you have to stay grounded and get your assignments done, and you just have to prioritize, honestly. Lastly, Devin, this has been a linebacker university now for a number of years, going back to Rodney Butler, then you had Hanks and Harrington, McQuaker, and then Ferguson a year ago. Uh, Terrell Hanks is, is close to you. I know you really look up to him, and he helped you early on in your career. What has he meant to you? He's meant a lot. That's honestly a brother from another mother, as he would say. Um, I watch him when I came in. He just basically taught me the ropes of how you should be as a linebacker and how the mental aspect and the physical aspect that you need to attack the game and to be a great, you have to go above and beyond each and every day, no matter how you feel, no matter what you think, you have to lock in when you're in between those lines. Devin, continued success, and uh, thanks for your time today. Yes, sir, no problem. Socially distanced, that's Aggie football star linebacker Devin Richardson.